So what I have with me today is a very special friend of mine. This is a Triceratops toy that I got when I was about five years old. And this Triceratops, I used to take it on family holidays to the beach and pretend to be a paleontologist by burying it in the sand and digging it up again. When I was a kid, we had a VHS tape of Disney's Fantasia. And there's a segment in there where there's all these dinosaurs, the T-Rex fighting a Stegosaurus. I just have these wonderful memories of sitting there and watching this videotape over and over again. I think the land before time may have been my jumping off point. My parents had these sort of big pillows that they used to keep on their bed and I used to go and wrestle the pillowcases off of them and then climb inside the pillowcase and pretend to be a dinosaur egg and then I would dramatically hatch out of my dinosaur egg. I was in the local news agents with my mum and we were waiting in line and there was a stand that had this magazine so I was like oh mum you know can we get it? Mum got me a subscription so the next issue was all about triceratops. Every seven or eight years I seem to make a triceratops. My first one is a very clunky glazed one, a little bit more accurate maybe, although the tail would never have been like that. And this one is quite nice, I like the colour, it's got a lot more detail to it. I did that in a pottery club and I think it's the most accurate, although I have been told by our paleontologists it's already out of date again, the posture isn't right. If I could have told five-year-old me that one day I'd be involved to some extent in the uncovering of a real Triceratops, I wouldn't believe it. I don't think I ever grew out of it. I, I just almost got more and more into it and uh, as the time went on, as I learned more about it, I never believed I would actually become one of the experts, you know, in the future. So to be a paleontologist is a dream come true, absolutely.